You know, it's been almost two years now since I reviewed the full lineup of sauces for the General's Hot Sauce. Well, they've come out with a couple of brand new products. This one here is their Hua Jalapeno. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another hot sauce review. Now I'm excited about this one because uh, like I said in my intro, it's been a couple of years since I reviewed for the General's Hot Sauce and I really love their products and they've come out with a maple syrup which I'll be reviewing soon. But they came out with another uh, hot sauce. This is their Hua Jalapeno. And I love what they do with the, these bottles that look like grenades. Uh, these are not gimmicky at all. This is really a first class product made, as you can see there, with 86% peppers, veteran owned and American grown peppers. But I just love these uh, grenade shaped bottles. Six fluid ounces. Got these uh, dog tags on here. The General's hot sauce. All right, well, I thought I'd take the time to uh, go ahead and uh, share a little bit more about them. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, Smoke Hall Foods L3C is the veteran-owned Louisiana-based pepper company of the General's Hot Sauce uh, based in um, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, I believe. Uh, yeah, and it says here that uh, it was uh, conceived by its founders at the 2012 Army-Navy football game tailgater in Philadelphia, yes, Navy won that year. Inspired by a close friend who actually serves as a general in the military and loves to make wings for his friends and family and shall remain anonymous until the end of time. We'll never tell. Uh, I want to meet that general. The company launched with a simple mission. Honor the general by producing the highest quality American-made products. Uh, they also support the American farmer by growing all of our peppers in the United States. And we think you should be able to trace every pepper back to the acre of land where it was grown. Serve the greater good by creating jobs for veterans. That is awesome. And by donating a meaningful percentage of our profits back to organizations that support our troops, veterans, and their families. Build an honorable company that can be proud of and have as much fun as humanly possible as we do it. So I thought that was just awesome. Um, now I believe that they're making the uh, company's headquartered in Louisiana, but they're making the products just down an hour down the road near Fort Jackson uh, in Columbia, South Carolina. So uh, I may be able to tour uh, that facility here in, uh, shortly, maybe next year, but I'd love to do that. But I've reviewed their uh, several other products on my channel, so make sure you check out. I've reviewed their Dead Red, their Marine Green, they're danger close, they're shock and awe, which is one of the best and hottest habanero sauces I've tasted. And let's get into this Hua Jalapeno. It says that it is carefully blended from precisely aged American grown peppers. Now, I believe they're aging these peppers in bourbon barrels, uh, but I don't know how long they're aging them, but uh, it really makes a difference in these hot sauces, guys. If you love that fermented, funky uh, flavor and aroma that you get from peppers, whether it's cayenne peppers or um, um, jalapeno peppers or habanero peppers, uh, it just makes a difference in these sauces. Hua Jalapeno carries a mild medium heat profile and is a versatile flavor that can be used anywhere. We love it on tacos, burritos, enchiladas, and our favorite scrambled eggs. If you want a rich pepper flavor with just a casual hint of heat, you found the right product all right all natural here's the ingredients on this one now i thought i'd address this again i kind of thought I, I mentioned this on some of my other reviews that the sodium on these hot sauces is listed at um 180 180 milligrams which is really pretty high for a uh, serving size which is one teaspoon a regular serving size but i think uh, they don't really come across as being way too salty i think it could be lowered uh, but i think because of the percentage of peppers that they're using in their hot sauces uh, maybe it calls for a little bit more salt maybe that's why they're doing that but uh, the flavor of peppers really comes through uh, in each of these hot sauces here's the ingredients on this one guys uh, American grown jalapeno peppers that are aged for a certain length of time distilled vinegar distilled white vinegar salt and garlic that is it just peppers vinegar salt and garlic sometimes that's all you need 
to make some of the best uh, table sauces, the best hot sauces. Um, but just look at this uh, consistency on this one, guys. Look at that beautiful green color. Not too thick, not too thin. Really looks nice. But I just love these bottles. Now, one thing you have to be careful of, and this is pretty heavy too. You could hurt somebody with this. Uh, it might not blow up something, but uh, you could hurt somebody. Um, is you got to be careful with these because uh, if you twist this thing and your skin's in the way, this uh, handle right here, boy, you're going to rake some skin off. So you got to hold it down at the bottom and then go ahead and twist her on off. All right, it comes this way. No flow restrictor, but let's go ahead and check out the aroma. Now, what I love about this one is when, when have you ever had a fermented jalapeno, green jalapeno sauce? You might have had a fermented cayenne pepper sauce, but uh, this just smells awesome. Just a really strong, rich aroma of green jalapenos with that funky fermented deep uh, flavor coming through, aroma coming through. Pick up on the garlic. It doesn't smell vinegary. It just smells super, super rich. Like it does contain 86% of fermented um, jalapenos. Wow, just a wonderful aroma. And rich in garlic, too. All right, let's go ahead and do a little spoonful here. Who a jalapeno from the General's Hot Sauce. Beautiful, perfect consistency. Not too thin, not too thick. But here we go. Mm. Woo! And this is pretty darn spicy. Um, for a jalapeno hot sauce, I'm telling you, this is this has got a punch of heat. But it kind of fades away a little bit quickly. But wow, you do a lot of this all at once, and you just got a mouthful of jalapeno heat. Um, Definitely uh, in the medium category, that's for sure. I would probably give this one a solid three, maybe a low four out of ten. You know, it kind of hits you all at once, you know, especially when you do a spoonful. But you just put, put this stuff on food. Here's a picture of what I did. I had some scrambled eggs, sausage, and some uh, toast with pepper jelly, I believe. But this stuff is amazing on uh, scrambled eggs. It's very, very rich. I do think, I'll probably say that I love the flavor on here, but I do think that maybe it could be a little bit less, use a little bit less sodium. Uh, that's just my opinion, but the flavor is rich. Um, that's what they do. Every single one of their hot sauces really brings out the flavor of the pepper, which is vinegar, salt, and garlic. That's their flavor profile. <coughs> Excuse me. And it is amazing. Check out this company, guys. Um, really really awesome and like once once again like i said this is not gimmicky this is a high quality product and some very cool packaging all right check it out at the generalshotsauce.com that link will be down in the description they've got um, several flavor profiles like i said they've got a maple syrup that i'll be reviewing very soon as well here is a picture of it right here this one is called maple mayhem so stay tuned for that review guys all right ethan thank you so much for sending this i greatly appreciate it guys thank you so much for watching stay tuned for more and until the next time make sure you enjoy the burn we'll see you guys later